Good afternoon, JT and Jack. It is Wednesday, and it is currently a beautiful day outside, although it had been raining. But as the old saying goes, if you like the weather, wait 10 minutes. And if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes. But I'm not here to talk about the weather today. I'm here to talk about the month of May, at least this past month, and what it was like for me. Now, some of you may have been thinking that I have this dream internship. Oh my gosh, he's living the dream, and that has not been very much true at all. <laughs> um... It's been kind of a train wreck. I'm here to explain, and I'm going to be talking kind of quickly because there is a lot of material to cover. The best place to start, of course, is May 1st. If I'm going to be talking about the month of May, I should begin at the very beginning of May. So, May 1st, a lot had happened. I have this internship, not with the House of Blue Studios, as I may have led people to believe, but with a producer slash engineer named Cameron. Uh, of course, Cameron is not his real name, and I'm using a fake name because... I don't like Cameron very much. <laughs> oh, Cameron. So I have this internship with Cameron, and I was supposed to be in Memphis on May 1st uh, because he was recording a band in Memphis, and it could only work if we had gone to Memphis. And I wanted to help as his intern. And Memphis, I mean, that's cool. So I was excited for that, and then it didn't end up happening, although I had kept in touch with him to see if Memphis would happen the next week. Spoiler. So instead, on May 1st, I moved into my apartment in Nashville, signifying the first time I had ever lived on my own. So it's kind of a new experience for me, but I've been enjoying it. My friend Jack also helped me move into the apartment, and because he had lived in the apartment this past year, he had some stuff that he was willing to share with me so that I wouldn't be completely stuffless and, you know, have cups and mugs and silverware and other things that I would need in the apartment. Moving on to May 4th, my mom, she was here for six days and she helped me buy stuff that was missing from the apartment and just spoiled me rotten and it was wonderful and thank you mom, <laughs> it was great. And so that was that was a good week. Uh, we got to talk a lot and basically that, that week I spent with her. I was still waiting on a text from Cameron. May 9th was the day that my mom left, and it was also the day that I helped my friend Jack move into his own apartment in Nashville. He got his own apartment in Nashville because he is doing an internship with a health services company in Nashville. And that took all day long, but we got it done. It was good, um, and I really enjoyed it. I texted Cameron on May 12th about the internship. Like, I hadn't really talked to him that much during the first couple of weeks because... I was moved into the apartment, and my mom came here, and then I helped my friend Jack move in. It was just kind of a busy couple of weeks for me. So I texted him May 12th, and then I texted him the next day about the studio, and he asked me to talk to him again tomorrow because he was way too busy on that day. Um, and so on May 14th, oh goodness, May 14th was a really big day for me. Prior in the month, I applied to get a job at Target because the internship with Cameron was unpaid. I was honestly just doing it for experience. So I wanted to get a job to be able to sustain myself while living here in Nashville. And May 14th was the day that I got the interview. So I had the interview with Target, and they really liked me, and I got the job offer, and it was great. And then I got back to my apartment and texted Cameron asking about the studio. And he basically told me that someone else took my place, and they didn't need anyone else in the studio. So good luck, Chuck. Bye. <laughs> It was basically a bleep move to pull. That's right, a bleep move. A bleep move. It's always good to drink tears at this time. So that day was a really sad day for me because I had lost the internship and I was really looking forward to learning all sorts of stuff in the studio and how things were done in the real world and whatnot. And now that was gone and thrown away into the trash and I didn't like that. But I also got a job, so that's cool. So the question is, do things get better? Does the sun finally shine on this poor student that is trying to survive in this world? Is this a roller coaster that only goes down? Well, you'll have to find out in next week's episode. But until then, it's been good. JT, I will see you on Friday.